Can you prepare yourself to survive in a nuclear environment and know how to react to a nuclear hazard? First, let's know what we are dealing with, starting with the harsh realities of the effects of nuclear weapons. The effects of nuclear weapons are classified as either initial or residual. Initial effects occur in the immediate area of the explosion and are hazardous in the first minute after the explosion. Residual effects can last for days or years and will cause death. The principal initial effects are blast and radiation. The blast. The blast is the brief and rapid movement of air away from the explosion center and the pressure accompanying this movement. Strong winds accompany the blast. The blast hurls debris and people. It collapses lungs, ruptures eardrums, collapses structures and buildings, and causes immediate death or injury with its crushing effect. They're mentally ready for it. They're eager, ready to go. Good. Well, we're glad to have you here. Thermal radiation. The heat and light radiation from a nuclear explosion's fireball emits light radiation that consists of both visible light and ultraviolet infrared light. Thermal radiation produces extensive flash fires, severe third degree skin burns, and flash blindness. If the intensity is great enough, a permanent retinal burn will result. Nuclear radiation. Nuclear radiation breaks down into two categories, initial radiation and residual radiation. Initial nuclear radiation consists of intense gamma rays and neutrons produced during the first minute after the explosion. This radiation causes extensive damage to cells throughout the body. Radiation damage may cause headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and even death depending on the radiation dose received. The major problem in protecting yourself against the initial radiation's effect is that you may have received a lethal or incapacitating dose before taking any protective action. People exposed to lethal amounts of initial radiation may well have been killed or fatally injured by blast or thermal radiation. Residual radiation consists of all radiation produced after one minute from the explosion. It has more effect on you than initial radiation. Types of nuclear bursts. There are three types of nuclear bursts. An air burst, a surface burst, and a subsurface burst. The type of burst directly affects your chances of survival. A subsurface burst occurs completely underground or underwater. Its effects remain beneath the surface. Subsurface bursts can cause little or no radioactive hazard unless you enter the immediate area of the crater. This type of burst is a highly unlikely scenario. What can we do to increase the destructive effect? Or conversely, how can we protect ourselves from it? An atomic shock wave can envelop a structure and completely destroy it by pressure and dynamic wind effects. A nuclear weapon represents potentials outside the concepts of conventional weapons. But this is not an ultimate weapon, nor one calling for unreasoning fear. It is merely another arm, another addition to our national arsenal.